Over the last two years, I've made multiple seven figures with high ticket coaching. But then I thought to myself, what if I lost it all? What if I lost all my money, my clients, my network, and I had to start all over again with just $100 in my name? How would I get it all back? In this video, I'm gonna go over exactly what I would do if I was to start all over again with just $100 to my name. And to make things even more challenging, I set some ground rules. Rule number one is I can't use my network, which this means that I can't contact anyone that I currently know for help, which honestly would be the easiest way to make fast money since to be honest with you at this point i've invested thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars into my network my business friends buddies my clients my team literally nobody i can't contact any of them so rule number two is i can't use my personal brand meaning i can't use my instagram or anything i'm currently known with which again would probably be one of the easiest ways to get fast money because i've invested just over a hundred thousand dollars into my ig in just the last 60 days i'd probably have to go with like a new name something like uh, Chris Scott. I also can't use my past results, testimonials, or anything like that. Rule number three is I have to work with only $100. So we're going to imagine that I didn't have access to credit cards, loans, or anything in the lines like that. And no one would lend me money because obviously everybody hates Chris. So the reason for these rules is I want this to be as realistic as possible for anyone that's watching this video. And to show you that you can make this work even if you are starting completely from scratch. So now that we're clear on the rules, I'm going to walk you through this step by step on how I would start a high ticket business with just $100 and nothing else to my name. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'd scale it to multiple six figures a month. Let's dive in. Step one, I would first find a skill set to monetize. You know, starting from scratch, the first thing I would do is find something that I am really good at or something that I'm passionate about. Because at the end of the day, the money is out there. It's in the hands of other people. We just need to find a way to provide enough value to them by solving a problem that they have. And then we can ask them for some money. So first things first, I'd write down a list of all my skill sets and everything that I'd be interested in. For me, I'd probably go with something like uh, monetizing content. And there's three reasons for that. One, it's something that's really hot right now. Two, it's something that a lot of businesses really need help with. And three, it's something that I can start right away and have my results speak for themselves. So we have monetizing content as a skill we want to do to make money with. Now, what I do from here is buy an iPhone. Now, obviously $100 can't buy a brand new iPhone. So at this point, there's really a couple different options. My first thought is, you know, I would go in and see if I could get on some sort of payment plan with the iPhone. You know, I know at like places like Best Buy, you can go and you can get one for 0% down. You'd have to obviously get a credit card with that. So that would be kind of outside the rules, but let's just say I couldn't get a loan or anything like that. Well, what I would do is I would go on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and I would negotiate with someone to buy a $100 iPhone, which I'm sure I could figure it out because thinking about it, I currently have three phones right now and I have one that's just sitting in there. And if someone offered me $100 for it, I'd be like, yeah, sure. I don't really care. So now that I have an iPhone, this means I'd have a way to shoot content and a way just to do business. So now it's time to work. Step two would be get in front of eyeballs, right? Now, since I've got an iPhone, the next thing I'd want to do is get crazy with content. I would shoot content every single day, just like this on my iPhone, short forms, long forms, whatever it may be. Like every single day, I'd be making sure I'm looking for viral content to model off of and that I'm going to be posting that content consistently again every single day. Now, when posting content, I'm going to follow what I call the PAC rule, P-A-C, when I'm posting my content. Purposeful, authoritative, and convincing. Now, before I post anything, I'd ask myself, is this purposeful? And if it is, what's the purpose of it? Does it get me closer to achieving my goals? I'd also ask, is it authoritative? When people go through my stuff, does it make them see me as someone that knows what the fuck they're talking about? Finally, I'd ask myself, is this convincing? If my content that I'm going to be posting doesn't follow these three boxes, I simply just won't post it. And three things are really happening here. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm modeling content that's already gone viral. I'm actually putting good shit out out there and I'm doing it consistently. And not to mention, it's just a numbers game. I mean, if I do this consistently over and over and over again, eventually some of my posts are gonna go viral because one thing I've learned is volume negates the luck. 
because it doesn't matter what you're trying to achieve. If you're doing the right thing and you do it in a large enough volume consistently, you will achieve it. So if I'm modeling viral content and I'm posting consistently, a couple of my posts will definitely go viral. I feel very confident about that. And once that happens, here's what I would do next. Step three, which would be to simply just have a conversation. Now, I know you must have been wondering from the start, post content about what, right? The truth is I would pick one industry that I know a lot about. And for me, that would be the marketing. So that would be what I'd be posting content about. And at the same time, I'd start following people in that industry. So anything from marketing agency owners and basically anybody that would be a good fit for what I want to offer. And I would be having conversations with them because the name of the game is how many conversations can you have? The more conversations you have, the more money you'll make. From there, the next step is step four, which is offer a service based off of my skill set. Now, I've decided one thing I want to help these people with, and now it's time to create an irresistible offer around it. So since I'm already creating content and some of them are going viral, I'd offer these people to help do them the same thing and make money off of their content. So my offer would be something around helping them monetize their content and build a personal brand. And now that I know what I want to help them with, I just start bringing it up in the conversations and showing my results. And eventually I'd get a few people to buy because they'd be okay with me taking off that load of their business and helping them get more customers, right? When I get people more customers, it makes them more money because get this, the people that make the most money are those that know the value of their time. Lose a million dollars and you can make it all back, just like I'm trying to do right here. But any second you lose is gone forever. So if I offer to save these people more time and also make them more money in the process, it's a no brainer at that point. Because the best part is I'm not even gonna be charging a lot for it. Honestly, I have gone to do it 100% for free, but that reduced the quality of people that I'd work with and I don't wanna attract the wrong type of people. And it'll take a huge toll on what I'm trying to do and I'll tell you in a second, but I'll make sure I structure my offer in a way that it's easier for people to say yes. Maybe something like only pay me a grand after I make you 10 grand, something simple like that. I mean, my whole goal here is not to make money at first. I'm just trying to get these people the best results results because once I get it like up to five people amazing results then it's time to make a fucking killing with high ticket coaching and that brings me to my next thing that I would do which is step number five I would be documenting my journey and creating a program around everything that I'm doing so while I'm here to help these people make money from their content and build a legit personal brand I would be documenting the entire journey I'll write down the biggest challenges I faced and what I learned from them the things I wish I knew before I got started started, the new shortcuts and hacks and tips I learned from being out there in the field doing this. Simply just everything anyone that's trying to do what I've done, the things they should know. And I'll take all that and turn it into a high ticket coaching program that can essentially help other people do the same thing. It'd be a program that helps people to monetize their content. But the only difference is this time around, I won't be doing the work. I would just be coaching people and giving them the tested and trusted advice on how they could do it themselves because I've actually gotten experience helping other people monetize their content, not just myself. I know who my program would be a great fit for. How, you might be asking? Well, I'd look back at the people that I was able to get the best results for, and those are the type of people that I would go after. And again, because I've already gotten results and testimonials from those people, it'd be way easier to sell to potential new clients. Now, the next step is how do I get people to actually buy my program? Well, I would do the same thing I did to get here, but this time around, there'd be some differences. My content will be all about establishing authority and showing I'm actually fucking good at what I do. And that I can get results, I'm promising because I've I've done it before. And I would do that by telling my story, describing my journey to get there and showcasing results, testimonials, talking about clients. And then I'd use whatever money I got from helping people monetize their content to boost my posts. So I'd be posting content and boosting it for a tiny budget every single day. And you know what's gonna happen? I'd get a bunch of new followers. And when I get a bunch of new followers, I'd reach out and message every single one of them saying something like, hey, thanks for the follow, are you interested? 
interested in monetizing your content or making more money off your content. Something simple like that. From there, I just have a conversation with them and some of those combos will lead to sales calls and some of them probably nothing will happen with. And I'm cool with that because I understand it's a numbers game. And I continue like this until I get up to the point where I'm getting 10 calls a week. A normal closing rate's around 20%. I know for me, if I have the right person on the call, I'm gonna close at least 50% of those. So let's just play it safe and call it 30. I think realistically me, you, anyone watching on here, you could sell at 30%. I'm getting 10 calls a week, which means I'm closing 30% of those. So that's like roughly three clients a week. And I charge, let's say $2,000 to get started with. 2K from three clients would bring me to $6,000. And that's gonna get me to $24,000 cash in the bank. And with that, that would give me enough money to actually scale this business to the next level, which would take me into step six, which is multiplying that money. You know, with 24K in the bank, I would use 20K of that to buy a brand new Rolex. And then I would spend the remaining $4,000 on lottery tickets. You know, hopefully one of them would make me millions of dollars so I can just retire and then I don't have to do anything else ever again and just live on the beach. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What I'd actually do is use that 24K to scale my coaching business with more paid advertising. And I'd start with running IG DM ads. And I'm going to walk you through the funnel real quick. So this is the exact funnel I use to scale my current company to seven figures within just 10 months. And it's also what we use to scale our clients' businesses. So that's what I'm going to be using. So you can see at the top that we have our traffic source and Instagram DM ads would be my main go-to. Obviously we got the organic, going as well but to really scale this i really want to dial in the dm ads so basically i'd run ads that capture attention and get people to dm me a keyword from there i'll have a mini chat sequence that would collect their email and then send them whatever it is that they message me for next thing is i would have a zapier automation here that'll send them into my back-end crm where i have an email nurturing sequence i would use like a go high level a spreadsheet something like that from there i'll have a workflow for every action they take so for example if someone someone signed up for my initial mini course, they would go into workflow A and so on. From there, a lot of this just goes down in the DMs until they book a call, to be honest with you. And then I close as many deals as I possibly can. But my goal here would be to start streamlining my ad strategy and getting a consistent three to five X return on ads each month, which would give me consistency inside my business and get me up to an additional 20K. So that'd be roughly around 50K months. Once that happens, I would increase my price from 2K to 5k a month and then i'll get ready to start hiring a full team but i'll keep it as lean as i possibly can until i'm doing 50 to 80k months consistently and i start seeing money start stacking up in the bank account again and that'll bring me to the last crucial step which is step seven scale and build a team now this might be the last step but it's the most important step because the goal here is to scale my business to 100k months but i can't do that working alone. And I also can't do that if I mess this up. So I'd write down the values and the mindset I'm looking for in my team that I want to build. And that'll be my first guiding principle for hiring. And I'd make sure that they're already killing it in their own world so that when they come on board and start working with me, they can continue doing what they've already been doing. So from there, I'd start building a team. I'd first get started by bringing on a new setter to manage my DM settings and start setting me appointments so I could focus on closing more deals and client fulfillment. Eventually, I'd get busy with that, so I bring on a closer to close some more deals while I focus more on fulfillment. And down the road, I'd also get busy with fulfillment, so I'd bring on a client success manager to take some of the work off my plate. At that point, I'm confident that I'd be doing at least six figures a month, and from here, I would just keep scaling. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is exactly what I would do to go from 100 bucks to $100,000 months. I did this this video to show you it doesn't matter where you're at right now if you're serious about making this work and you get hungry and put your all into it i promise you you can make this work and make a ridiculous amount of money now i have a feeling right now that you have more than a hundred dollars to your name or you probably got access to some sort of credit or you've probably got some skills that you can monetize the only thing holding you back now 
is you. You know 99% of people are gonna watch this and just scroll to the next video looking for the next dopamine hit, but if you wanna hold yourself accountable and be among the 1% that take action, I've got something for you. I've spent over $25,000 creating a course that'll show you step-by-step -step how to start and grow your coaching business to 100K months, literally breaking down each step I talked about in here in very full detail, and I even documented it all for you. I'll give you literally everything all the scripts, the templates, basically think about this like a walk in the park for you. The best part is this is completely for free. Simply just check out my video, the one that says free course, and just watch that video. It'll tell you how to get access to it. And you know, I wanna, I wanna help you out with this. I want you to make some money and then you can come back and let me know how it goes. So I hope you found value in this video. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments down below. Just make sure you hit that like button, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new video. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.